So I, I understand that in the lower elementary class, the, um, the students are um, reading a book with Miss Laura. It's called Silverwing. And so, Neil, can you briefly describe what Silverwing is about? So it's about this um, small bat named Shade who gets, lo who gets lost in a storm in, the mig in a migration, and he is trying to find his way back to his colony. He's trying to find his way back to his colony. Yeah. Okay, and so you guys read that. Miss Laura reads this to you. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. And my, I understand that that has like sparked an interest in bats for you. Is that right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. All right. So Noel, after who who came up with the idea to do this research Ms. on bats? Miss Laura. Okay. And what did she she suggested that you guys just look into it further? No. Well, she's she just said like we could let like the names of the kinds. Like, oh, the different types of names of bats. Yeah, and, and we went a little farther in the two pieces. So what did, how did you go a little bit farther? Like, we used these pieces of paper, and um, we wrote some things about the bats that we got in these books. Okay, so, uh, Owen, where did you get the books? How did you, uh, how did you get these books? Um, we went on a shelf right over there, and we grabbed out the animal encyclopedias. Yeah. And then we went to the table of contents, and we found either bats or the B section, uh -huh. and then we looked for bats, and then we decided what we were going to research. Okay, and um, so Sam, which bat did you research? Well, we're each doing at least three. Oh. No, at least two. Well, Neil's doing two, the three of us are doing three. No, okay, doing so quite Neil's a number of bats. Okay. Wait, you're doing three? Neil's also doing echolocation. So ah. explaining how I that picked works. the, um, the greater fruit bat, which is also known as the Indian flying fox. They have the largest wingspan of any bat, which is five feet. Whoa. Okay. And then, Owen, what was one of yours that you're doing? I picked the ghost bat. It's two to five inches long, and it eats birds, mice, and other bats. Its wingspan is about, like, two feet. Okay, cool. And, Noel, how about you? What's one of your researching? Um, I just finished the skew nosed bat. It's a, it's about um like a, a couple inches big. Oh. Four so or five. So it's a lot smaller than the one Sam was researching. Yes, but my second one's like um three and a half. This one's like um it has a little spear on its nose, like a horn. Ah. Like that's a, a good fact. Okay. <laughs> And then, Neil, you were studying echolocation. Have you already done it, or you're about um, to study it? No. You're about to. Um, so the bat I already studied is the American long-eared bat, uh -huh. which, is, which, has a, which has a wingspan of um, 9 to 11 feet, and it's like 4 to um, 5 centimeters. 9 to 11. 9 to 11 inches, I mean. Yes, no. that's all right. Yeah. yeah. Um, it can't be feet, because this well, is the um, yeah. one. Oh, that's great. Well, that's, it sounds like you guys were just... got. Yeah, sparked by this book and did some research on your own. Is that right? Yeah, yes. a lot of it. We, awesome. even, we even did it in recess. You even did it in yeah, recess. Yeah, we, we skipped all of recess and research. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, guys. I appreciate it.